Hey, what's up, meat sauce around the world? It's April 12th, and it's that time again to go through some web pages so that you're just a little bit smarter. Climate change threatens large portions of the U.S. cropland. Three of every 10 acres in the U.S. corn and winter wheat are under increased threat as climate change boosts temperatures and makes rainfall more erratic. Over 80% of cropland within 48 contiguous states relies on timely rainfall to produce crops. You know about your food supply? This is from Successful Farming. Pretty interesting. It's okay, though. It's okay. Occidental makes a billion-dollar climate moonshot so it can keep pumping oil. Petroleum Giant says its plan to capture and store CO2 will give leeway to invest in more fossil fuels. It's okay. We're just going to suck it out of the sky. We're not going to block that. And if you thought it couldn't get any stupider... Someone just held a CO2 reader up to a PC to prove Bitcoin has mining has zero carbon emissions. No, it's not April 1st. It's just stupid. Wow. Do we even need to go through this? No, it gets stupider. American offices are half empty. Okay. From, Dal from Dallas to Minneapolis, New York, LA. Offices sit vacant or underused. The downturn of the 20 trillion U.S. commercial real estate market, because you can be best damn sure no millennial or Gen Z is going to pick up and buy these. Unreal. Okay, unreal. But we are also okay because Rolex.org, Rolex Perpetual Planet Environment Movement, right? They're going to make watches and protect our planet. Look, they even got little maps. What's it, what are they doing in California? Um, oh, they're, they're taking care of uh, plastic. Okay. See Earth? We're screwing it up. Moving on. We don't even believe in it. Okay? We don't even believe in it. 6 and 10 say EVs only help address climate change a little or not at all from a poll. Yeah. No. They don't help. It takes more. We have a broken system that's extractive. All right? We've been through this. You know better. Classified and leaked documents, let's move on to different subjects, uh, will lead to death, warns Pentagon. Very serious security risk. Everything's leading to death. Many are marked top secret, secret, blah, blah, blah. Maybe another balloon next week. Who knows? We're spying on each other and causing problems. We shut down Macron's visits to the Netherlands. Emmanuel Macron. <laughs> and Hague on Tuesday. He's going to give a speech, but where's French democracy? When do we lose it? Oh, a long time ago. Taiwan. China appears to simulate first airstrike carrier. Aircraft carrier strike on Taiwan. Updated yesterday. They're going to drop the old whoop-de-woo on us. No good. No good. They take this drill as a serious warning, and they are ready to fight. Okay, my roommate says in the next two to four years, he read somewhere, but it was I think that was General Miley that said that, or someone prominent. So, pretty much, uh, it's going to be a mess. And my generation and kids are so broke, they're running their parents' retirements. A majority of U.S. parents have made financial sacrifices to help their adult children, but it could backfire. Nearly 7 in 10 parents, 68% with children 18 or older, have made at least one financial sacrifice. All right. Emergency savings. Over half parents say they dipped in their savings. Provide support. Debt. Because we're broke. Because all the money went to the top 1%. I think what I just read that, like, the top 1%... Ca oh, that's in Ireland. Captured in America, too. Like, trillions of dollars. And from productivity and inflation... We really been like missing out on at least seventeen thousand dollars that could have uh, helped us through a pandemic. It's broken, dude. The entire system's broken. Fooling yourself if it isn't otherwise. Oh, yes, the, here it is again. The G's military is published today. She must strengthen training for actual combat. All right. I say all right a lot. They they had a civil war in nineteen forty nine, but here we are in twenty twenty three. Full circle. Why do people walk in lines? Because we're, we'll, you know, why do we do that? By drawing on ideas by Albert Einstein, they've come up with a new theory. Counterflow lanes of motion can emerge seemingly out of disordered systems, led by Tim Rogers at the University of Bath. 
Laning is an example of spontaneous organized organization in nature and would be familiar to anyone who's walked a busy street or corridor when two groups of people, they start walking opposite directions. They often organize themselves in parallel counterflowing lines, reduces the risk of collisions. It doesn't only emerge in systems of sentient beings, but also can be found from ranging from motions of oppositely charged particles in complex plasmas to counter propagating electrical signals in elongated nerve cells. Holy shit. But then we don't still totally understand it. But, you know, something like that. We just move around because we're because we're smart. We don't run into each other. An unhackable quantum internet is being built in New York City. Entangled photons of light have been sent through a loop of conventional optic fiber under the noisy New York streets. All right, the start of a supercomputer. A prof- you can look up more. A professional couple make- making over $200,000 a year combined says it's hilarious. It's hilarious to think they could afford a home in Los Angeles. With housing costs being the way they are, just the idea of us ever owning a home is absolute is absolutely like it's funny. College this college professor with his hot looking girlfriend can't can't pay a house. They can't buy a house. They live in a Sarah Boyd, live in a one bedroom condo in Los Angeles. Well, it's Los Angeles, so everyone's pretty. Little Tokyo and he's realized he's lucky. We're on the top percent of incomers between I what I make and he, she makes. But they're renting, and they don't see that ever changing, so they're just working their butts off. Each of them makes a six-figure salary. Visiting assistant professor at public policy, UC Riverside. Her, one year older than me, working in digital advertising agency. See, they're all, I can't compete with them. Sorry, I'm ranting. Like, I can't, what, am I supposed to work in an advertising agency and compete with that? Get fucking real. They're going to choose that. They're going to choose that, dude. They pay 2400 a month in rent. I mean, just burning it, dude. Just burning it for nothing. All in a pile of death. Both of them are going to be screaming at the top of their fucking lungs in the next 10, 20 years. Like all of us. Bloody Mary. Because our food supply is going to be gone. We just read that. Jesus, we're stupid. Where's Jesus? We're stupid. Australia's richest... That's what I meant. Australia. But this is everywhere. 93% of economic growth between the 2009 financial crisis and COVID. Wealthiest 10% captured growth in companies' profits... In company profits, almost Australians watch as their real wages shrank, just like here in the States. So we turn to alcohol, drugs, overdoses. It's really a story about wages and profits. Most of this 90% receive income from wages, which have gone backwards in real terms. You wonder why the animosity there is towards boomers. You read this shit constantly. How fucking broken this is. They set us up to fail. But people earning more than 108000 you know, rich get richer. World's, world's poorest nations spend 16% of their revenue on debt, the highest in 25 years. I mean, imagine that. You think your job sucks? In Sri Lanka, I always wanted to go there. People suffering, man. But the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation will take care of us. 91 countries spend on average that much of their debt. It's awful. It's fucking broken. Every single part of, part of it. You wonder why young people are depressed. Because the Dalai Lama apologized after video asking a child to suck his tongue. I'm not even going to watch that. He kisses his boy. It's weird. Self-proclaimed. Nepotism. Yeah. He's the chosen one. The next chosen one could be a space alien or something. Uh, and again, you think your job sucks. Cubans waiting in line in ghost lines for gasoline seeing no light at the end of the tunnel. After months of blackouts triggered by the sorry state of state-owned electric utility, fuel shortages have grown. I mean, look at that. Waiting a mile... Just to get gas so you can drive some clowns around. What a world. What a world. I think about all of it. I'm going to get into that in a minute. Uh, this is just kind of interesting. Not a ton of information on this. But there's a com- world's biggest cumulative log jam. Newly mapped Arctic source 3.4 million tons of carbon. That is a lot. No doubt. It's not a, that's a sizable amount of carbon. I get it. A lot of cars, so... You know, someone just needs to light it on fire and send up the nukes. Next decade, crucial in stemming. This is from Western Herald. We ain't doing it. 2023 synthesis report. You guys know it. By the United Nations. The cruciality of the next decade on the climate. Blah. No changes are made because none are being made. If richer nations, which generate more, cause more problems, then they have a higher responsibility. Yet they're not fulfilled. Hell no. Hell no. Produces, uh, United States, U.S. produces, uh, just for the just for the record, uh, 13.2 trillion pounds of CO2. U.S. 
produce 15% of the world's greenhouse gases, yep, next to China and everybody else, while only containing 4% of the world's population. You know, you can just go hang out at a hotel, like I did the other day. Uh, they're pretty commonly walked places, you know, international travelers and and all that. And you can go in and sit and just listen to people. You know, just people watch. And the shit I overhear people talking about, like having multiple connecting flights in the morning, uh, taking care of their kids. Like, if someone told you that there was an uh, existential crisis that would affect all life on Earth in the next 10 years, go to any public place like a hotel or a coffee shop and tune in and just listen in, eavesdrop on people's conversations. And like my subscriber Dale said, you watch people do with their kids and talk and you could just kiss any climate targets. Just kiss it goodbye. It's all fucking gone. And yet the, the climate apocalypse, according to Vox, is also also religious crisis. Uh, this interview with this guy... It's, everybody's talking about this show. It's just greenwashing, black mirror, hopium, dog shit created by Scott Z. Burns. He made Contagion. You guys know this. And he's talking about the emphasis of this article is like, there's something inherently religious about the climate crisis. Not just because the flooding brings in mind apocalypse images, but uh, it's sort of a shift in biblical proportions. And it's like, Religion is one of the areas we consider the entire world. Or maybe not. Maybe you're just an altruistic human being and you think about the planet, like me and my subscribers. Where in which case you're like 0.0001% of the fucking population. And uh, you live in a Twilight Zone nightmare. Alright? I just think I think of a meme putting like a picture of the, the universe. You know, talk about the James Webb telescope. Very cool images coming out. Um... And here's the universe, and here's, um, this is a deep field image, right? Yeah, okay. Let's see if I can zoom in. You know, and here's everyone else, and here's my little corner of the fucking YouTube of the internet who actually gets what the fuck is going on. Here's this little tiny bit, and all there's normie dumb trash, just confusion. Oh, should we fix it? It's not real. I don't know. No, they're trying to tell you lies. They're trying to, uh, they're trying to, they're trying to control you. Uh, no, it's not like that, dude. It's science. It's just reality, dude. Um, and so it's also important you think about climate change. Back to the article. God is capable of understanding, imagining, mind, notion of all living things. Then I'm fucking God. And it's the perspective that we try to aim if we think about the climate. Y yeah, me since day one, dude. Um, so I, I think of that for anyone who's spending time thinking about the notion of higher power. Certainly a deity that created the universe. It maps out a very neat on climate change because you shouldn't be you're considering big stakes. Uh, you know, people screw up. And there's a huge national disaster. And then, I mean, this is just some dog shit article, but they did say, you know, at least they're admitting, uh, I was thinking about feeling I have an unseasonably warm day in winter. It's spooky. Yeah, it's spooky. It's fucking doomsday. It's what it is. We're done. Done, mate. All right. Don't get sucked into a black hole. They're out there, and they bend. Imagine going in it, okay? Be scary. This has been your April 12th Rapid Fire News Roundup. My name's Reagan the Doom Wizard. Hit like and subscribe. I'm just barely getting this channel going financially now, so any contributions would be highly helpful. You can visit my PayPal link donation in the description and visit YouTube slash Reagan Parenton's channel and making contribution, it means a lot. Don't go flying and don't have kids. All right, you've been nice. I'll talk to you later. All right, go party. I'll see you later. Bye.